Victorian Alberts, guests will be greeted with a multi-course tasting menu. At the beginning of the experience, the bites will be very small, and as the progression of the menu evolves, the ingredients will become more and more robust. The sweet courses that are going to be enjoyed by our guests are just so fabulous. The creations by our Victorian Alberts pastry team will be something that they'll always remember. What's really special about Victorian Alberts to me is when I get to invite guests into the kitchen to enjoy our chef's table. What's really fun is to welcome them in and engage them in the experience and how we create that experience. Many call us the culinary crown jewel of Walt Disney World. Uh, we can wait uh, for them to see what we have done to the main dining room, to the Queen Victoria room, and to the chef table. Guests at Victoria and Alberts can expect the reimagined location. Chef Sowers is now uh, the helm of the restaurants and he has prepared an incredible menu. Uh, you will see the differences between the Queen Victoria room, the chef table, and the main dining room. It's gonna be elegant, it's gonna be just gorgeous. People come back to Victoria and Alberts to be indulged in incredible cuisine. Uh, people come back because they expect a friendly service but non-intrusive at the same time. People come back to Victoria and Alberts because of the incredible wine list and because of the ever-changing menu. The reopening of Victoria and Alberts is so meaningful. I get to see my cast members back after two and a half years. Uh, they have really become our family and most of them have decided to be part of this incredible opening. The signature dessert at Victoria and Alberts is the spectrum of chocolate. And it's a progression of chocolate that goes from the darkest, richest chocolate all the way to the lightest white chocolate panna cotta. Some of our unique offerings are the three breads that we offer through the service. The first one starting more of a French style epi bread. The second bread that's offered in the center of your meal is a croissant like bread. And the third offering is a whole grain bread with eight whole grains, uh, really a warm finish to your meal. And then we have a pre-dessert um, that is an ice cream. And that ice cream is made with elderflower liqueur, and it has fresh Tupelo honey, and uh, it's finished with a raspberry glaze.